say we had some, we did have some good strikers and and, and all had their their individual strength. Uh, I mean, you've actually left out Derek Reeves as well, yeah. of course. Yeah. Thirty-nine yeah. goals, mm -hmm. thirty-nine league goals. I mean, a record today. Still, still a record. So you had Derek as well, and and I think you know like everything, one thing goes <coughs> to the other. I I felt that I was always very fortunate to have players that could put the ball in the back of that. I know everybody said, well, I just put it on a six minutes and they couldn't miss kind of thing. Um, but we had some wonderful strikers. Um, you know, it's very, very difficult to separate them in different eras. Certainly Derek Reeves was one that, um, you know, I love playing with Derek, very quick. Maybe this more goals than the extra score, actually, Derek, you know. Um, and then we moved on. I mean, Georgia Ryan was a was an absolute brilliant finisher. Probably the most clinical finisher of them all was George O'Brien. And I think he proved that over and probably, you know, as far as I'm concerned, to this day he probably doesn't get as much credit as it, as it should do at Southampton Football Club. Um, but you know, maybe because he was always miserable, maybe that was one you know, you know, you know he's not thought of in the same vein. Um, but in saying that, of course then you're gonna move on to a different kettle of fish. Uh, which is which is in fact uh, you know your George Kirby. I mean, would you like to have played against George Kirby? <laughs> <laughs> I would have done. And you can put the ball in there, and you know that he was going to get in amongst it and um, and, and sort people out. And, I mean, probably the hardest centre forward I've played with, and and uh, did me many a favours by sorting out fullbacks for me. And I used to have a lovely afternoon because they couldn't run after George had finished with them, you know. Um, and, and, but if George was George was a character. Off the field, you wouldn't have thought butter of melting in his mouth. But on the field, a right animal. And that's the only way you can describe George. But then you come on again to, you know, you're starting to get on to a little bit of the Rolls-Royces Rolls Royce now. And, and Martin Chivers was, was always going to be, a, for me, always going to be an outstanding player. You know, I think he, at our day, in our day, he, he probably hadn't quite fulfilled what he did later on. And that's to be expected. He was only a young lad. But it was, of course, we had Mick Shannon, didn't we, come in the in the in the background. I think that's why Ted probably let let Martin go, knowing what he had coming through. And then, of course, we had Big Ron, didn't we? I mean, I mean, you couldn't miss Big Ron if you couldn't, you know, if you couldn't send her to Big Ron, you couldn't send her to anybody because he was probably the best I've ever seen in the air by a long, long way. And I, mm. I only saw the Tommy Lawtons of this world occasionally, but after playing with Ron. And realising what it, what he was like and how devastating he was like in in the air, it, you know, used to, we used to laugh. But, you know, I never I never used to put the ball on the ground to him so he could knock it in with his feet. I always chipped it so he could head it with it because he was he was really devastating and, and, and so much power. And you've seen him like like you've all seen him. He used to hang in the air. You think, how did he do that? Well, it was just pure timing. But he was brilliant, and of course, then you had the other, you know, you had the other Rolls Royce eventually come alongside of Mickey Shannon, great engine. You know, we had that telepathy between us where I didn't have to see where he ran; I knew where he was going, and I knew if I played it early enough and accurate enough, he'd get on the end of it. So I, you know, we've been very lucky at Southampton Football Club. We've all always been known as a club that could score goals. We probably let as <laughs> many in at the back, but entertainment value, you, you couldn't. I mean, you could argue it in our day with <coughs> what we were doing and the goals we were scoring. 112 goals one season, never got promotion, you know, because we conceded 80. But goodness me, it must have been brilliant to watch.